Hi, today Namya would be interviewing Dr. Ifra Khan. The topic is how to study, manage and top your final year BDS. Ifra Khan is currently an intern at the MGM Dental College and Hospital Navi Mumbai. She had topped both in the third year and final year in her college. She has consecutively scored more than 70% in all four years due to which she got the total scholarship for three years in a row. I am Dr. Satish Shumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. If you're in the final year, this is a must watch video. Uh, so, hi. My first question to you would be, uh, roughly how many hours do you study in a day? See, the hours I study it always depends on the college, whether I had college or whether I had weekends. In college, my college was very far away. I have to travel roughly three hours every day. So whenever I come back from college, I used to be very tired. So my first priority was to give myself complete rest. So two hours of complete rest and then I used to, you know, go for a walk or exercise and then come and sit back to study. So roughly around four to five hours on college days, I used to study. And uh, on weekdays, it depends. If I had an exam on Monday or Tuesday, it was to go to 10 or 11 hours. Other than that, seven to eight hours was max I used to study on weekdays. That's a lot. That's great. Actually. And uh, did while studying, did you refer uh, to the top foreign author books or uh, like you went for other books also, other alternatives like reference books or something? Yes, it was a combination of the both. Uh, like for some subjects like uh, uh, periodontology, yeah. Karanza is the OG book. You cannot have a substitute for Karanza. And for exam point of view, I used to have uh, Shantipriya Reddy for periodont uh, periodontology. And for oral surgery, I had a bunch of books uh, that I, ha I will share my screen. Yeah. And uh, for endodontics, I had uh, Grossman. And for diagrams, Nisha Garg. Okay. So for oral surgery, I had these books. The conventional textbook was Nilama Malik, followed by local anesthesia, uh, Malamid and Monims. Mm -hmm. And That's standard, good. these were the foreign authors. Uh, these textbooks actually our professors told us to use. Peterson Principles of Oral Surgery. And uh, for maxofficial trauma, Achilles was the OG book. And John Langdon and Mohan Patel for diagrams. And okay. other than that, these were the books that I refer. Combination of both the foreign authors and the Indian authors. That would be a great help for people. <laughs> okay. And, uh, uh, coming to uh, review books, I didn't use any review books because I made notes. So that was sufficient for me. Yeah, that would actually be my next question. Like, uh, did you think that making notes was compulsory or it could just be a choice? See, uh, now you are in third or final BDS till now. You yourself know what is your point of studying. Like, you always have to make notes, notes to study for exam or even opening a textbook and reading from it. You learn it and you give exam. So if you are a person, you always make notes before exam. So it is compulsory for you in final year as well from the beginning that you make that you notes. Start. So that yeah. would help you in the last minute revision. So and for you, notes, yeah. Uh, for uh, like notes, they have multiple advantages. Like you have it handy and you can use it in your communicate. Like well, uh, while you travel or you know, if you have any free lecture, you can just open up your notes and re revise it. And it basically depends on person to person, you mean to say. Yes. Like, yes. Yeah. Like in final year or third year, maybe, is taking coaching necessary or are like we should more focus on self studying and everything? Coaching is, I feel it is not at all necessary because mm -hmm. your college, college lectures are more than enough. If you attend college regularly, attend classes, the information the professors give you, it, it would suffice. You don't need to. Uh, extra coaching for that and self-study is the top priority like i used to believe in self-study like professors kitna bhi padha le, aapko ghar pe aake, aapko book ke, kuch sahi padna. so i feel mm -hmm. coaching is not necessary in final year 
coming to my next question based on your answer only so how important would you say is attending the lectures in college it is very important for me first of all attendance our college was, yeah. was very strict on attendance like yeah. you cannot miss lectures like that and your attendance would fall like rapidly so yeah. attending college was a must and uh, about lectures there are many important things about the chapter about the subject that professors knows very well because they have been teaching for many years many. and they know the core of the topic so even sitting for the lecture you get a lot of information like ye chapter mein se kya kya important hai ye kya sakta hai ye diagrams hai ye pad lo kyunki wo aapko staff bolega tabhi aap samjhoge ki ye exam point of view se important hai yeah or uh, secondly a lot of clinical case discussions in oral surgery we have uh, the, the professor would so, so show us a lot of uh, you know radiographs cases fracture lines that textbook has not textbook does not have it their uh, knowledge and their experience they tell us that is very valuable for us students so attending lectures to me was very important in final year we have uh, the clinical quota too so many students find it really difficult to manage studying like doing self study and as well as doing the clinical part so how did you manage in it any tips do you want to give to us yes. before you listen to the answer to that question please do not forget to hit the like button below because the guest and the host out here have taken time to come and help you and i'm sure you're subscribed to our channel if you want to take your career during and after bds to the next level uh we have eight subjects and eight post themes from the third year itself we are you know uh, made comfortable that aapko eight postings attend karna hai aur you know the idea ki orthodontics mein wire bedding hoga endodontics mm-hmm. or conservative mein you need to prepare cavities oral surgery mein local anesthesia extractions to aap isse comfortable ho jate ho और मैंने ये किया था कि अब कौन जेंडो का पोस्टिंग है तो उतना एक हफ्ता दो हफ्ता मैं सिर्फ कौन जेंडो पे ज्यादा फोकस करती थी क्योंकि आपको चेयर साइड वाइवर भी पूछते हैं तो उसके लिए भी आपको पढ़ना पड़ेगा तो आई यूज टू गो बाई डेट वे की जो पोस्टिंग चल रहा है मैंने उसका उतना थ्योरी पार्ट ये कर लिया इम्प्रूव कर लिया एंड ओरल सर्जरी में इवन इन आर कॉलेज इट वॉज लाइक पेशेंट्स मिल रहा है तो आपको चेयर साइड वाइवर देना ही है तो वो ब्लॉक आपको अच्छे से आना चाहिए तो उसके लिए ब्लॉक्स ऐसे ऐसे करके पेशेंट वाइज मेरे ब्लॉक्स अच्छे से थ्योरी में भी इम्प्रूव हुआ और क्लिनिकल भी उसका इम्प्रूव हुआ बाई डूइंग पेशेंट्स और कोटा की अगर हम बात करेंगे जर्नल्स की तो जर्नल्स भी वो भी बहुत सारे हैं सो इन कॉलेज यू गिव योर हंड्रेड परसेंट टू पोस्टिंग जितना भी क्लिनिकल कोटा है आप कॉलेज में खत्म करने की कोशिश करो पेशेंट्स वाला अब जर्नल्स वाला तो आपको घर पे आके अगर आपको कभी पढ़ने का मन नहीं है या फिर यू नो यू आर नॉट फीलिंग इन द मूड टू स्टडी यू कैन प्लग इन योर इोन आराम से एंड राइट योर जर्नल बेसिकली गेट योर शेप टूगेदर वेन एवर यू फील लाइक पढ़ने का मन नहीं कर रहा है बी प्रोडक्टिव ऑल द टाइम वॉज देर एनी रूटीन दैट यू फॉलोड बिकॉज इतना लाइक यू नो इतना डिसिप्लिन में रहना टू फॉलो ऑल ऑफ दिस can be really tough and yes. you know to complete the deadlines and everything so was there a routine that you followed to focus on all of this yes uh, being disciplined is very must in final year if you want to achieve good results be consistent with your studies like agar aapka do chapter ho raha hai din mein ek chapter ho raha hai din mein theek hai chalega but us cheez ko continue rakho to mera aisa tha ki 4 to 5 hours daily स्टडीज पे जाना ही है उसमें से भी फाइव आवर्स में भी फर्स्ट टू आवर्स आई यूज टू जस्ट रीड द चैप्टर्स एंड अगर वो नहीं समझा तो आई यूज टू वॉच यूट्यूब लेक्चर्स अलॉट एंड देन फिर आई यूज टू नेक्स्ट टू आवर्स आई यूज टू जस्ट मेक नोट्स एंड मेक इट यू नो कंसाइज कि अब नेक्स्ट बार मैं ये टॉपिक को पढ़ूंगी तो ये मेरे लिए आसान होगा जस्ट टू रिवाइज बिकॉज ये टॉपिक को मैंने अंडरस्टैंड करने इसके लिए मैंने पांच घंटे दे दिए अब ये टॉपिक मेरे दिमाग में रहेगा और इसके इसकी मेरे पास नोट्स भी है तो ऐसे करके आई यूज टू गेट द चैप्टर्स डन फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग इट सेल्फ सो एंड लाइक फॉर द रूटीन लाइक यू मेंशन इन द बिगिनिंग लाइक कॉलेज एंड देन टू आवर्स रेस्ट एंड टू आवर्स रेस्ट एंड देन यू नो रेस्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगर आप रेस्ट नहीं करोगे यू टू लाइक डिप्राइव ऑन योर स्लीप इट विल हैव अ 
बैड इफेक्ट ऑन द लॉन्ग रन सो रेस्ट करो पढ़ाई भी करो सोशल आउटिंग्स आपको कम करना यू कैन गो फॉर इट बिकॉज फाइनल ईयर में यू हैव टू कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन समथिंग बट डोंट लेट दैट बी योर स्लीप एंड द रेस्ट पार्ट सो बी हैव अ कंसिस्टेंट रूटीन इफ यू आर अ मॉर्निंग पर्सन दैन वेक अप ऑल एट फाइव ए एम एंड स्टडी and there must have been times where you felt like you know you lagged motivation and uh, so like was there a go to thing that you would do to prevent that burnout maybe or where like to get you back into that routine yes there were day- in final year and third year we have a lot of pressure and from mm-hmm. staff and in postings uh there is pressure and teachers sometimes your day you know doesn't go well patient ka kuch scene ho jata hai like friends ke sath kuch ho jata hai and that builds up the pressure is upar se art subject ka syllabus ka pressure so there were days where, where i didn't feel motivated at all so on that days i gave myself rest complete rest ki kuch aur activities kar liya hobby pursue kar liya i used to paint journal write my thoughts and uh, talk to my parents like parents are your biggest console and your uh, biggest you know supporters in this journey and go talk to them uh, talk to them about your struggles and what do you feel and they will motivate you at your best and uske baad wo ek khud se hota hai ki aaj rest kar liya ab kal se wapas you know you need to back on the grind back on the hustle like that yeah. so there are days like this and like exam days mein वो कैसे रूटीन होता था मतलब क्योंकि अभी तो जैसे कॉलेज टाइप हो गया तो हाफ ऑफ द टाइम वन फॉर कॉलेज एंड देन वो रूटीन सेट है कि अब इतना पढ़ना है लाइक तो इन एग्जाम डेज हाउ डिड यू मैनेज लाइक व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रूटीन डिड यू फॉलो एग्जाम डेज सब मतलब एग्जाम डेज पे ऐसा होता था कि बस पढ़ना है बस सिलेबस खत्म करके एग्जाम देना है तो उसमें मेरा तो ऐसा हुआ कि खाना पीना सब ऐसे रूटीन तो मेरा ये हो गया था एकदम वो आई सजेस्ट यू डोंट डू लाइक दैट मेक अ रूटीन पहले से ही कि आपको ये ये टाइम पे थोड़ा एक्सरसाइज कर लो थोड़ा फ्रेश अप हो जाओ इतना हमेशा एग्जाम के स्ट्रेस में मत रहो कि लॉन्ग रन में आपको ये हो जाए मेरे साथ हुआ था बिफोर माई पीडोडोंटिक्स यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम आई फेल वेरी इन लाइक आई कुडेंट इवन फोकस ऑन रिवाइजिंग द सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज पिछले सेवन एट दिन से आई वॉज ओनली फोकसिंग ऑन एग्जाम 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 तो उसकी वजह से आई फेल इल एंड दैट पेपर वॉज इन दैट गुड फॉर मी सो एक रूटीन बना लो कि थोड़ा ब्रेक्स वाला प्रोमोटोरो टेक्निक एक है कि आप आधा घंटा ये वाला कर लो फिर टेक टेन मिनट्स ऑफ रेस्ट आई यूज टू फॉलो डेट एंड यूज टू मेक टू डू लिस्ट कि हाँ जितना इतना करना है उसके बाद थोड़ा रेस्ट लेते हैं तो एक प्रोमोटोरो टेक्निक आई यूज टू बी कंसिस्टेंट विथ आपको एंड मूवमेंट पे सारा रिविजन नहीं रखना है एंड आपका पूरा वन ईयर का जो कोर्स है उसमें आपको थ्री मिड टर्म थ्री एग्जाम होते हैं इंटरनल एग्जाम हो गया पहले टर्मिनल मिड टर्म एंड प्रिलिम्स तो आई यूज टू डिवाइड होल ऑफ माई ईयर इन दैट चर्म्स लाइक फर्स्ट इंटरनल में इतना सिलेबस है आठ सब्जेक्ट का इतना मुझसे हो जाना चाहिए रिवाइज करके तो मैंने ऐसे किया कि इसमें इतना रिविजन हो जाना चाहिए उसके बाद सेकेंड में नया सिलेबस आता है फिर से कि मिड टर्म में आपको ये ये चैप्टर्स और एड हो गए तो अब उसके लिए ये पहला तो मैं इसको रिवाइज करूंगी वापस से ये सेकेंड टर्म के लिए और फिर से नए सब्जेक्ट्स का यूज टू मेक नोट्स एंड देन वो फोर टू फाइव आवर्स वाला स्टडी नोट्स वाला तो इसके लिए बना लिया एंड दैट रिविजन आई यूज टू फॉलो एंड फॉर फॉर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑल्सो आई फॉलो द सेम पैटर्न कि जितना पहले किया है उसको रिवाइज कर लो अभी मिड टर्म के लिए उतना कर लिया फिर सेम सेम प्रीलिम्स में आ गया प्रीलिम्स में भी यू नो कि इतना टॉपिक्स मेरे हो गए थे पहले फर्स्ट टर्म और सेकंड टर्म में अब थर्ड टर्म में ये नया है तो इसको थोड़ा ज्यादा टाइम देना पड़ेगा प्रीवियस वाला आई हैव नोट्स आई विल रिवाइज इट क्विकली सो हाउ डिड यू मैनेज टू रिवाइज ऑल एट सब्जेक्ट्स रिवीजन एंड स्टडीइंग शुड गो हैंड इन हैंड 
I have divided my entire year according to the uh, term exams and the midterm and the prelim exam. So mid terminals were the first part. So terminals, uh, my deadline was terminal stuff. Jitna syllabus aara hai, sorry, eight subjects ka that I should be covered. I should be able to cover before my uh, terminal exam. So that was my goal. And Jobi Naya topics tha, uska mein notes. I used to make notes four to five hours, revise them. And as a terminal stuff, my portion of that thing was over. Similarly, for midterms, that portion plus the new thing. That's a really smart way of putting it. That's really helpful. How important do you would you say is making notes? And how would notes, you go about it? The notes from the day one, you have to make notes. From the day one, you need to start making your notes. Trust me, the notes part works. If you are a notes person from the first year itself, you would make notes uh, before exams to understand the topic then. From the very beginning of the final year, you need to start making your notes. As, as the year progresses, you will have everything compiled. And in the notes, you have to write it very point-wise. Like this, you can see there are diagrams, there are flowcharts and there are point wise so you have a blueprint of your exam answer like in this way and it's very handy to revise it in in an hour you are done with two chapters three chapters if you have your notes ready and i have also included a lot of you know flowcharts and uh, diagrams in the notes so that two three pages ka jo textbook aapka bas yehi explain kar raha hai wo aapka ek page mein ready ho jata hai with all the important points and here is, this is activator of the orthodontics part. The history of it was very long. One page of history of just only the activator. So here I wrote in three points and the history of the activator is done. Similarly, indications, contraindication. This is just an example of how you can make your notes and make it attractive and easy to revise so that it helps in last minute revision. But some people might argue in this that um, they can be time consuming a lot and everything. So yes, what would your time answer consuming. be? It is yeah. time consuming. But it will also pay you off in the long run. If you make one hour and make two chapters of notes, and if you have three hours, it will be the same two chapters of the exam. So that is beneficial in this way. Hmm. And now you are very on the go to revise it. Hmm. And if still if you think your notes is not for me, then don't do it. Go with your OG uh, you know the way of studying you do. Don't uh, make new notes a new thing for you in the final year because you have a lot of other things to do in final year as well. So it's very subjective, basically. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It was a great interview. And as a young dentist myself, like in the process of becoming a dentist, I find for like those answers were like really helpful. Thanks a lot for your time. If you like this video, do not forget to go and check our video with Dr. Drumal Manik, who is an educator and talks about how to succeed in 4th year BDS.